two minutes left. Two minutes left on Q, dude. Why? How is it two minutes at 3.3k? This is server launch. Classic has begun. Minute zero, man. And you're stuck on loading screen for a bit and you're panicking. Like, oh shit, do, do I log out? Do I need to Alt F4? No, I'm not Alt F4ing. I'm gonna sit in this room. I'm gonna tank this 90% loading screen. Like a fucking god that I am. Nothing makes sense right now, yeah? Nothing makes sense. When you're in the 1 to 5 zone, nothing was making any sense. Yeah, like, it's going great, right? This is worth first 60, by the way. Worth first 60. And, like, when you look at this, what's going on now, guys, do you think this guy is gonna get worth first 60? Do you think this this is what World First 60 looks like when, when the start is? Yes? No, yeah, no Omega lol, dude. I should have uninstalled the game. I find some shoes, some like um, J's. I delete my underwear because I don't need it. Look at all this panicking. Like, people are just panicking, dude. Like, oh, I need to take more. It's like Hunger Games, man. Like, when you start in Hunger Games and you're like trying to find the weapons. These monsters are the weapons. Everyone's just rushing for them, dude. Like, it's a blood and water, dude. People, like, friendships were broken here, dude. Like, you know, dreams were crushed. Only, only the toughest survive. Only the toughest make it out of the start zone, dude. Okay? This legend says it. There's people still in the starting zone to this day. Okay, that fireball was quick, though. Look at that. Pew, 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 pew. pew, pew. Like machine gun fireballs, dude. Look at that shit. Okay, now we're gonna hit level 6. Level 6, dude. Guess what? Server first level 6, motherfucker. Nobody's fucking level 6 except me on the server right now. We're in it, dude. At this point, you feel hyped. You, you, your blood is pumping, man. You're like, okay, I'm ahead of the curve. I'm ahead of the curve. I'm the only guy level 6. Nobody's level 6. Guess what? Fireball rank 2. Fire Blast rank 1. Now we are the fastest mob killer in the game. Fact, guys. This is us. I'm spitting facts right now. No class. No class can kill mobs faster than a level 6 mage. A level 6 mage is the fastest DPS in the game for that level. It is unreal. You're doing a mil million DPS. Like, mobs instantly die. Like, you're, you're gonna see this shit, dude. Like, you can really cast three, 3 spells and the mob dies instantly. That's the mob. Insta, look. One. It's dead. It's dead, dude. It's dead. It's dead. So we're handing the quest, we're rich, we have 2.5 silver. What we do we do now, chat? We go and we buy mommy's milk. Because mommy's milk is the best milk in the game, dude. Your mana goes from 0 to 100, just like that. So we get the mommy milk, which is very expensive, by the way. Yetis. Okay, we're killing yetis. Look at this yeti. Boom. Insta dead. Instantly dead. Look, look, look at this. Insta dead, dude. Like, met it. Already knew they lost. Like, when Method saw that I was killing mobs this quick, they were like, oh shit, we fucked up. We fucked up, man. We didn't invite this guy to Las Vegas. Like, he's just, he's three-shotting mobs. How are we gonna keep up with this? These guys are like three-man leveling. Do you see the sh degenerate shit, dude? Oh, look at us. We can kill a Yeti. We're three rogues backstabbing a Yeti. Woo. Like, unironically, guys, I was killing one Yeti faster than those three guys were. And that's not even a joke. Dead mob, insta dead, 65 crit, method can't even crit that hard at level 60. Dude, we're going so fast, it's actually unreal. Like, I'm actually getting horny looking at this VOD. Th this is what peak, peak performance looks like, yeah? This is peak performance right here. You're alone in a zone, no competition, and you're playing the game perfectly. You're making zero mistakes, you're killing mobs as fast as possible. And then you join the word channel so you can see any memes. And the first thing you see someone saying is anyone else running to Barons. That's the first message in the word channel that I saw. Anyone else running to Barons. Like, why would you go to Barons? You're a lion's man. Like, what? And then he left the channel, dude. What? He left the channel after asking it. And then I left the channel as well. Like, shit, this channel sucks, dude. Like, everyone left the channel, man. <laughs> so we're almost done with this quest. And we still haven't seen someone do this quest, by the way. Like, I'm so ahead. I'm one quest ahead of everyone. I'm, like, l lapping people on the quest now. So, I'm like, I'm always going to be the first person to the next quest from now on. Which means I'm going to do the quest the most efficient way possible. I kill mobs so quick that it's worth to grind them. Like, 80 XP for casting 4 spells, dude. For method to get 80 XP, you need to cast 50 spells. And, by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed this. I do not have Frostbolt. 
on my bars. I haven't bought Frostbolt. I am so good at the game that I don't need to buy Frostbolt. I don't need it. Because I'm hot as fuck and I kill with Fireball like a true fucking alpha does. Because an alpha mage goes for the highest DPS spell, which is Fireball. Fireball is always more DPS than Frostbolt, but it costs more mana. But because I have mummy's milk, I can replenish my mana so quick that Fireball is actually more XP per hour. So yeah, we're not gonna buy Frostbolt, that's for fucking losers. We're going to outplay the Seattle. What are you gonna do to me, boy? Oh, he resisted the Polymorph! Guess what? Polymorph again, motherfucker. Loot the quest item. And this guy's gonna get a free quest by, by me. Like I actually went for the re-poly. I'm such a nice guy. I took time out of my schedule. I spent 60 mana to Polymorph the mob again so that guy could loot it. That's how nice I am. Look at this guy, Sluggo. He's fucking a Warlock. He picked... Imagine playing Warlock. Imagine playing Warlock, guys, which is basically a lethal version of a mage. It's like, hey, you can pick between these classes, yeah? You can either play a mage with like a 12-inch cock that like three shots mobs. Or you can play a, a beta Warlock that has to rely on a scuffed imp that you can't even co give him a name because the name is auto-generated when you get an imp. So for all you know, the imp's name could be Method or some shit or like some stupid shit dude and you have to stick with that imp forever If you were a, if warlock didn't have summon you would be a meme class and your class would be blacklisted Nobody would want you now here. We just kill ourselves. So we insta respawn here. Did you see that guys? We kill ourselves. We're back in town. Boom. Okay. Now we're level 10 one hour 49 minutes level fucking 10 and We're ready to go to lock modan so now we're ready to go to look Mudan. Look, people are spamming me. Going forward first. How? They can't even understand. They can't even figure out. Because they were watching Method stream and Method were level 2. And they were like, how is this guy level 10 when Method is level 2? That makes no sense. Look Mudan, we're ready to blast. I'm ready to own the game. I'm going to do the truck quest. I'm, I'm, I'm server first level 10. It's all uphill from here, guys. Wait, why are there no mobs up? Wait, where's the quest NPC? Wait, what? Why can't I cast any spells? Should I log out? Transfer instance not found. What? Are you telling me that this game that was beta tested by all these big shot streamers? That ha and these, all these stress tests that we tested? I sat on a queue for 5 hours? And you're telling me that Lok Modan does not work? What? I paid 15 euro to sub to your dog shit game when I wasn't playing BFA so I could maybe get an invite to the to the beta. And I didn't get an invite to the beta so you, I lost 15 euro. And then I do it for the stress test so I can test your fucking game. And then Lok Modan doesn't even work on the fucking launch. Look at this. I am so ahead of everyone, and Lokomodan does not work. Just, 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 just look at this. I'm gonna get teleported back. Just look, I'm gonna get teleported. Like, it's fucking Omar jerking one off in the fucking background, and he's gonna tip me back. Lokomodan is not working, bro. That's, that's the bug report I made, dude. I literally went AFK, and went to, like, take a shit. And I just did slash dance. This is worth first level 60, guys. We're at first level 60 right now. This fucking gnome is level 10 dancing at the Lokmodan entrance. This is this is worth first 60. You cannot make this shit up. You just cannot make this shit up, dude. Look, I'm trying to. I can, I'm I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I cannot escape. And by this time, everyone has caught up to me, or like surpassed me on like other servers. So I'm like way behind everyone now. Look, I, I'm gonna make it, guys. We're gonna make it. We're running for it, dude. Teleport it back. You cannot make this shit up. I mean, Blizzard, man. I don't know what the fuck. They forgot, like, the Lock Modan was DLC, man. I didn't buy the DLC. I only bought Domaro. I forgot to buy Lock Modan DLC. Like, Method called Blizzard, yeah? Because Method was playing on NA servers. Uh, hey, Blizzard, listen. 
There's some no mage, like some bolt no mage in you. He's level 10 already. Can you guys make sure he cannot go and lock more down? Oh yeah, we got that, boo. Yeah, we got that. No, don't worry about it, dude. So they make sure the EU servers, you couldn't enter Lokmodan. So now, now I, people in my stream were saying that Lokmodan is fixed, yeah? I, I can finally get out of the starting zone, even though I should have gotten out one hour ago. Three hours into server launch, we can enter Lokmodan. Look, two, two hours, 52 minutes, man. I should be, guys, level 12. At least right now, I should be. I should be in Darkshore. So now, guys, we are going to level as fire. We are a fire mage. We are putting talent points into improved fireball. I don't know if you guys know this, but the way mage works is you get your rank of fireball two levels before you get your rank of frostbolt. So fireball is very lit because you get rank three fireball at level twelve. Right before Darkshore. And I and obviously guys I missed the boat. I mean we're first level 60 by the way, you missed the boat. So now we, we just go and we start cooking again. Because what are you gonna do in this downtime? Might as well cook, right? And I buy these potions. This is trying like you vendor. I know about this vendor that he sells these big dick potions. And I buy them. Because those potions are like, that's like lay on hands when you have this amount of HP. Like you press that potion, you go from 0 to 100 HP. And look at this damage, by the way. Look at these fireballs. I'm killing mobs as if I was like uh, at the starting area. This is improved fireball, guys. It is so insane. Like uh, people underestimate how good rank 3 fireball is. This is just the absolute nuts. Like this spell, like... At level, it's just so strong. Like hundred, I just I do shot at the mob, dude. At this point, I knew I won the race. By the way, when I when I saw that like uh, hundred crit, I knew I got word first. I I think some guy in Method came and cong said grats on sixty, when I crit for hundred. If you're leveling a mage, and you level first aid while leveling, you're a fucking beta cock. The only profession you should have is cooking. So you can do a quest. It tilts me so much, man. When I see a mage with first aid, they say it's fine because I'm gonna use first aid in downtime, yeah? There is no downtime. If you're playing mage, there is no downtime. Because downtime is when you are AFK doing nothing. When you're drinking, you that is not downtime. That is you playing the game. You are playing the game, you are increasing your mana. Like you are you are not drinking when you're making bandages. Like you will never ever level faster because you have first aid as a mage. So now I am going to take advantage of Drustic. You guys should follow Drustic, dude. He's a good fucking mage. I'm actually in his guild and uh on the server. So I'm like I'm going to abuse Drustic. I'm going to use him. As like my hunter buddy, so we can do the dwarf escort quest, which is very hard to solo as a mage. The mobs are insta respawning. Did you see that chat? Look, insta respawn, insta respawn, insta. Like what is going on, dude? And we're trying to do an escort. Like this is so shit. So now, guys, we're gonna be done with Darkshore, and we're going to be heading to Redridge. Guys. My goal was to hit level 18 in Darkshore, and we, we made that, so... Look at this XP, guys. We're soaring through XP. Me and Rustic then split ways. Look at this, guys. Level 18. Now, we are going to AoE farm a bit. Even though we start AoE farming at level 22, we will AoE farm a couple of quests, and it's gonna look so sick, chat. Look. We're going to AoE farm 6 mobs at a time. Because I have 6 health potions, I am able to AoE farm.
now chat this stream is about to get very monk -ass. like you guys better hold to like some blanket in your room because what what you're about to see is some of the scariest shit ever on this uh, on this platform dude. we are going to solo belly grub as a mage guys this is fucking insanely insanely clutch this is not easy because belly grub can charge indefinitely look she's gonna charge boom charge minus 108 minus 150 our half our health is gone we lost half our health there's a hunter he doesn't even help us he doesn't even help us this hunter i use potion the belly grub is still chasing me i'm alone there's no guard to kite them up to Belly grabs are charging. I get a resist on my fire blast. I'm almost out of mana. I don't have evocation. I get charged for 161 damage. Okay, oh, she's about to resist. 24 damage. 24 damage. Resist. Resist. We did it. That was close, man. Old guy, we get four stamina ring. There's a reason I was doing Yowler, guys. Like, you guys think I'm doing random quests to just to get XP? No. I am getting... I'm doing quests to get XP and items. And that ring, I will use that ring till I'm level 35, at least. That ring will allow me to tank AoE pools easier. You need 3 points in the improved Blizzard to AoE farm. Like, at level 20, Blizzard slows for 30%, man. The way Mage AoE farm works, guys, is... It's only efficient if you're alone. So let's let's use Drewstick as an example. Okay, let's say he's as fast as me from now on. So I'm level 22, he's 21. So I AoE farm for one level, I'm 23, then Drewstick comes to 22. Then we're both fucked. But luckily he was going to dungeon AoE farm like a cuck. So I got lucky.
let's say one, someone in chat. I, I'm going to AOE farm. I'm a noob and I'm gonna AOE really farm. I'm going to AOE farm in wetlands because people kept asking me in, in in game and stuff. Hey, where do, did you AOE farm? Most of these people didn't have the gear to AOE farm. There was a reason why I was doing some quests that people on my stream were like, "Oh, he's doing a. Why is this guy doing this quest? It's not worth. It's not. It's not worth it in XP per hour." Dude, it's not about XP per hour, it's about getting gear that will give you more XP because you can AoE farm better with. It's like you, you are building for the future, you are questing for the future, you are thinking 10 levels ahead. It's not like, oh, there's there's a lot of um, check marks you have to tick. You need to be alone. You need to know what you're doing, and you need the gear. There is like a mana requirement for AOE farming, like unironically, like wetlands AOE farm requires, I would say, 1.4k mana to do it effectively. You can do it with less, but it's ridiculously harder. And. You, not only that, you also require a lot of stamina to be able to backpedal and, and uh, stack the mobs. Because that's why I was so so good at AoE farming. I was backpedaling and allowing the mobs to stack on me. So then when I, I frost novas, they were really stacked. Because if they were spread, then you could sometimes not hit them all with blizzard and they would run through it.
here's the thing, guys. You guys see me play the game, yeah? And you think, oh, I can be just as fast as this guy if I play like him, yeah? No. I am only... The only reason I am this fast is because I am able to get to the spots first. Okay? If, if you are... Oh, I'm going to AoE farm. I'm gonna be just as fast as Joker. No, the fuck you're not, dude. Let me tell you why. It has nothing to do with skill. If there are people on your server that are AoE farming, you cannot AoE farm. You can only AoE farm if you're the only person AoE farm. So let me tell you what happened, guys. Most of the mages were dungeon leveling. So let me just paint you a picture. Let's say we have a server it's called the server Bold. We have a server called Bold. Yeah, and on Bold, there are 50 mages. So 50 mages, say 40 of these mages know not, don't know what the fuck is going on, they're like watching Asma go stream. But other 10 of the mages actually know what they're doing and they're planning to AoE farm. So what happens? Say these 10 mages, yeah? You have like, like two of them are gods like Kenny Marsh, yeah? And the, the other eight are like shit, like shitter, like me. So... Like the Kenny, he gets so ahead that he's able to AoE farm in wetlands, yeah? And then I am slow, so while AO Kenny is farming in, in wetlands, I am still questing. For example, say I'm level 21 and Kenny is 22 in wetlands. So what happens is, Kenny is is 24 and then I am 22. I come to wetlands like, yo, what's up, Kenny? I'm fucking hit him, fuck off, dude. So we, we compete for the same mobs for a bit and then he hits 25 and then I hit, I'm still 22. So then he, he leaves the spot and he goes to the next zone and I'm still in wetlands. But then what happens is those other seven shit mages are shit there like me. They all come to AoE farm as well. So what we end up doing is we created this AoE farm bottleneck where people like Kenny, they get ahead. They're one AoE spot ahead of you and the other guys are all molding in the same AoE spot and they are getting less XP an hour than anybody in the game. Because an AoE spot is not worth farming if you if you like more than two people, yeah? And this is what happens for everyone. Like, you guys in chat are lulling, but try to AoE farm right now. Newsflash, you can't. It's too late. You can only AoE farm if you're the first guy on the server, okay? That's just how it works. So, when people think AoE farm is broken, it's not broken. It's only broken if you are the first guy. If you're alone in a spot with zero competition, able to just do whatever they want. That's the only reason why it's broken. Like, let me just, just imagine on my server, let's just say me and Kenny Marsh, right? Who, let's just argue for sake, like we're both the same speed, okay? And we both reach wetlands at the same time. Guess what? We're both going to level slower than like anyone else. Anyone else, like anybody with a root, me and Kenny competing on the same spot would level slower than anyone else. But imagine the scenario I was in where I was alone in wetlands and I'm going to level faster than anyone else in the game even more than like journey like at that when I was in wetlands I was probably leveling as fast as journey or like slightly faster this is how AoE farming works guys that's why like it's only fun to do if you're like the first on the server because you're able to just solo AoE grind you know it's just like this is how it works and because of dungeon leveling, to go back to what I was saying, all these mages like Kenny, again, I'm gonna keep using him as an example, were in dungeons. He didn't care about wetlands. So, you, as a, if you planned to do what I did and solo a wee farm, you had no competition, motherfucker, because everyone was in dungeons. So, what's this weird, like, benefit for me? Because I, on my server, I was level 22, and uh, there were two mages that were level 20. And I was worrying a bit, like, wait, are these guys going to come duo level in wetlands at level 20? Because they can. At level 20, you can duo AoE farm. Where solo, you need to be level 22. But they went to do dead mines. And I was like, oh, so I have no competition. Because these mages are going to AoE farm in dungeons, and I'm going to be alone AoE farming outside. And that was the most easy clap scenario, because as a mage, if you guys, I don't know if you ever played on a server. If you ever speed run mage, it's not like oh I have a, a plan I need to execute it. No, that's not how AOE how speed running mage works. You have a plan, 
you need to execute that plan and you also need to pray that no other mage can execute their plan as fast as you can and keep up with you. Cause if another mage is as fast as you, you lose the game. You need to be, you need to outplay every mage on the server. It is a very difficult thing to do, truly, like mage speed leveling is very difficult because you need to be so ahead that you are for AoE farming by yourself and that is not easy. Cause if there is just one mage on the server that is as good as you, you are fucked, plain and simple. You are just, it's over, you can log off and uninstall the game, unironically, unironically you can log off and uninstall the game because it is over for you, you cannot compete. And what normally happens is, like, I remember on some server, like, Kenny told, like, he noticed he was, like, the same level as one guy, and he just told him, oh, I'm, I'm just going to quit. You can, you can AOE farm. He, like, gave up, yeah? Because, like, you can, you could both keep playing, but you're not going to make it anywhere. You could, you might as well stop playing the game. Mount boys, SSF, that's all my gold man, I found a gold.
What? Aggro? Hello? Okay. Where are the account sharing abusers? I wanna see you guys. Like, you guys are my favorite audience, man. I just love it when you type every- Like, you, you cannot go, like, living your life without saying in my chat that I'm account sharing every 10 seconds. Oh shit, let me let me copy paste and spam like co copy paste my uh, fucking uh, accuser or clip or whatever fuck. Like come on man. Wait, let's talk a bit. Okay, so people have been like level uh, 50 plus is not going to be as good as you guys think. It's not like private servers, man. I think uh, Sorrow Hill, which is the next spot is going to be complete dog shit. It's going to be really bad. So it's going to slow me down. But then it's going to get better at Heartland. Because I'm going to go Heartland. Heartland might actually be 100k XP an hour. If I play right. What? 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 How? What the fuck, man? It just ran through it. It didn't even get the debuff, dude. This is what we waited for 15 years. And now this guy... Go, he went for a swim, guys. You know, he went to check like the boat. You know, in case there's like some mine over there. He went to check. It's like Sea of Thieves, man. Now we have to wait for his ass. Oh, welcome back, bro. Get fire blasts in the face. See you later. What the fuck? Level 48? Is he hacking the game? Oh no, he's account sharing. Yeah, he's account sharing. That's why he's level 48. Now what you're about to see is Method's XP per hour when they entered BRD. <laughs> That's an XP per hour, dude! That's fucking squall, man!
going hard, man, bro. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna abuse the shit out of fucking layering, man. Call me a fucking cheater, I don't give a shit. You put 15 minutes respawn on Park Glen? Yeah. I, I know a way to work with that. Whatever it takes, like my man Rich Biana says. F in the chat, by the way. Rich Biana. Whatever it takes. I finally got a fear of this guy. Yeah, good night, motherfucker. Like you, cause you got that something that I need in my life that I need so.
I had a plan to delete the character, but I, I, I can't. These guys are holding me hostage here. You guys crashed my mailbox. You actually crashed my mailbox. Thank you everyone who has donated, sub. Just watch the channel. Shout out to like all my bo boys and group therapy men, my retail guild that have been modding, helping me out, just supporting. You guys are awesome, you know. You had my back for this, man. I really appreciate it, man. Like, I don't take it lightly, you know, that you guys support that shit. Also, shout out to Botwater, God Gamer, NAMH, and Mausoleum for helping me out during the beat and stuff. They know what they did. And shout out to Method for hosting an event and just having uh, uh, some good memes, you know. This was a good, good like, memes coming out with the Method shit. I mean, let's be real, it, it made it more exciting, right? Like, I don't hate anyone here. Like, we're all just having a, a fun time, you know. Yeah, man, th this has been an amazing experience. Now the question is, who do I host? Is it Method? Sure, I'll host Method. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you another time.